right guys sorry about the excess wind noise since I got the Mac Pro it has gotten extremely warm in this room so I have an extra fan just to push air in and out but in today's video we will be doing a Cinebench test on my Mac Pro as well as my MacBook so let's go ahead and get these loaded now I believe I have Cinebench in my yep in my hard drive here so we're just going to launch Cinebench on my MacBook and on my Mac Pro to accept the software license on each. We're gonna go ahead and run the OpenGL test first. And I'm just gonna sit back and let you guys watch. Granted, they're both loading off of hard disks, so. Mac Pro just got finished and it ended with 31 frames a second. And as you can see, the MacBook is struggling. And as you can see, it only got 4 frames a second. Alright, so now let's go ahead and run the CPU benchmark, which the Xeon really should outperform the MacBook. Alright, the Mac Pro is finished, getting a 597 CB. You can see it actually outperformed last time's store. Very nice. Well, here's the MacBook score. We got a 4.45 frames per second score in the OpenGL test and a 117 CB in the CPU test. That puts it at the very bottom of the chart. And that's in the GL test, by the way, there. And the GeForce 9400M is below a 1.7 gigahertz um, HD Graphics 4000 machine, which kind of sucks. If we go over to CPU score, you can see it beat out, was beat out by that i5. So, on the Mac Pro, we got a 31.50 frames per second score for the OpenGL and a 597 CB in the CPU test. Placing it about fifth there, you can see it, it actually beat out itself from last time by one point. Um, it, Got beat by a Core i7 3770, and uh, it beat in the Core i7 3720 QM. So, yeah, that was the uh, Cinebench test comparison between the MacBook from 2009 and the Mac Pro from 2008. Thank you guys so much for watching.